We're back, wrestling fans, and let's get right with the action. Let's go right up to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, this event one fall with a 15-minute time limit. From Dunlop, Tennessee, at 210 pounds, Chance Myers. Chance Myers. His opponent from Calgary, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, Bret Hart. Bret Hart. Bret Hart, big favorite here this week. And rightly so, this youngster uh, <laughs> got a lot of things going for him. Comes from a tremendous wrestling family, the Hart family, Father Stu, who had an unbelievable 12 children, and Bret Hart is one of them. And an extraordinary wrestler in his own right. Check out Chance Myers. Bret, very aggressive style as he opens up full force. Brett, uh, you should give Chance a chance here. I don't want to be redundant, but... Brett Hart all over Chance Myers in a hurry. Still to come on this extravaganza, this two hours of pandemonium here on Georgia Championship Wrestling, the big guy, Bundy, Look at this maneuver. Hard. He didn't just slam him. He didn't pick him up and turn him loose. He picked him up and drove him down into the canvas. Side mare takes him over. And Bret Hart is obviously not going to give Chance an opportunity to show his offensive skills. Shoulders are down there. So is the referee, but was a little hesitant on the count very unusual for someone to be pinned with this particular maneuver but when the shoulders are down <laughs> referee's got to get down there and cover count Brett very agile very quick showing the referee now he's just using an open hand well I don't know I have to differ with that a little bit got him draped over that top rope now that's definitely an illegal maneuver we're going to see some change in strategy on the part of Bret Hart, as he is extremely aggressive this week on Georgia Championship Wrestling. Maybe a change in style. Maybe he's been talking to somebody. We'll have to find out. Oh, that's a blatant chokehold right in the corner. Bret Hart pulling out all the stops, almost a disqualification there. Referee tell him you'll be back in the dressing room in a second. Brett says, I broke it on three. I got five. Well, that's, you know, that's cutting it kind of close there. For the ride goes Chance. Gets caught with a knee right in the solar plex. And Brett Hart this week is all over his opponent. Oh, I didn't been in the back in the dressing room area talking with Ken Patera. who might have put some thoughts in his mind. Some devious thoughts. Bret Hart doing the number on Chance Myers. Oh! Did he get a three count? Wow, was that close. Bret thought it was a three. I was kind of leaning in that direction myself, but Chance probably wishes it was a three. Because he is taking some punishment here. Headbutt right to the forehead. Wow, what an elbow, right on the throat, down again. Wow, slipped out the back door. Brett looking with disgust at the referee. Well, that's his own fault. He didn't hook anything to stop the youngster from sliding out the back way. Slingshot, no reversal. Hart goes into the corner and down. First bit of offense by Chance Myers. Chance whips him in again, look out. Wow, right under the chin, right in the esophagus area. Chance caught the boot. That was a legal shot right there. Lower abdomen, perfectly legal. Red Hart showing us some very aggressive style of wrestling. Looks like a knife edge and karate shot to the throat. That can be construed as an automatic disqualification as well. Backbreaker. Oh. Awesome maneuver. And Brett knows how to do those very well. On top, second turnbuckle. Drives the chest down into the sternum, down for the cover. Goodbye. What a relief for Chance Myers. I'm sure he wished a three count would have came a long time ago. 
but still in all, Bret Hart, very aggressively here, gets the Duke. Let's go back and take a look at just how aggressive Bret Hart was. He's got the youngster now in a very, very bad position up on top of that second turnbuckle. Look at the momentum here, the power. Comes down with that right hand, right into the sternum, just knocks him into the middle of next Wednesday. <laughs> Could have counted to maybe 10 there, or maybe more, who knows, but Bret Hart is showing us some surprising tactics on his part this week on Georgia Championship Wrestling. We've got two biggies standing by with my colleague, and we're gonna go right to him because this is the tremendous team of Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. Take it, Freddie. Thank you, Gorilla, very much. Here once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're proud to have him here in Georgia today. And wherever you're watching, I know you'll love him. Mr. T and Hulk Hogan right here. Get him out here. Just to see you back again. All right. All right. Hulk Hogan. You know, everybody's buzzing about the fact that you two got together in the first place, Hulk. Well, you know, I know everybody's buzzing because they can't believe the dream team. But the thing is, the first thing I want to do is I want to apologize to all the people in all the airports, all the hotels, all the gymnasiums for being so nasty all the time, brother. But ever since I got this thing on my mind, ever since I teamed up with my dude here, I threw away the world title belt. The only time you see the world title belt is for about two or three seconds before I step in the ring. This is the only strap I carry with me. The training strap, brother, because me and Mr. T, we got some heavy-duty training going on, and that's all I got on my mind. And the reason I'm so nasty, because I've been eating tuna fish and drinking mud puddle water, Daddy. The only right. people, the only people we're nice to are little babies and little children right now. That's right, that's right, because we got to stay mean to keep on being mean, you know, hungry. That's right, we ain't got no time for no foolishness and whatnot. People don't understand how we've been there training and whatnot. They want an autograph. We cannot stop training and sign an autograph. We got a lot of business to take care of because we want to keep winning and keep the pressure on these people we got to be ready so we ain't taking nobody lightly that's why we've been just getting our right sleep eating our vitamins you know and chewing people alive you know what's so funny about this whole thing man we've got all these star craven hulkamaniacs all these mr t maniacs on our side and you know we don't mind being too nasty because anything we do we're going to be forgiven for especially we got a heavy duty deal with a big dude upstairs and he said just for this time man you guys can get down take it to the limits but you know something? I pity those fools. I pity them. That's right. That's right. You, 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 you said it. You said it. And you know me. I don't like to do a lot of talking. I'm not a man who do a lot of talking. You know, I'm the strong, silent type. You know, less word and more action. I just do what I got to do. Matter of fact, I'm finished. You guys didn't want to say hard. Just remember the eyes. Team. Coming to your area, fans, Sunday, March 31st, 1 o'clock, direct from Madison Square Garden, New York, the sensational WrestleMania, seen worldwide by a closed circuit giant TV screens, the wrestling event of the year. Ten exciting matches, including the Intercontinental Championship, Greg the Hammer Valentine champion, managed by Jimmy Hart, against the Junkyard Dog, the Tag Team Championship, Barry Windham and Mike Rotundo, champions, managed by Captain Lou Albano, take on Volkoff and the Iron Sheik, $15,000 slam match, Andre the Giant clashes with Big John Studd, the Ladies Championship, Leilani Kai, champion, managed by the fabulous Moolah, takes on former champ, Wendy Richter, managed by Cindy Lauper, grudge match of the century. Hulk Hogan and Mr. T with Superfly Snuka in their corner take on Rowdy Roddy Piper and Paul Mr. Wonderful Orndorff with Cowboy Bob Orton in their corner. Remember, WrestleMania, March 31st, 1 o'clock.